Hello everyone, hope everyone is doing well and welcome back to another video. So on this workout that I did yesterday on Saturday, I hit a um, pretty good session of block work for the snatch and the, the clean and overhead press, clean and uh, push press and er, clean plus overhead press, clean plus uh, push press, clean plus I kind of did a power jerk, but did some squat volume after that, but I was really happy that I was able to hit some of these powers when I went up, so that was, that happens a lot, how that last rep was, where I just kind of lose, not really balance, but just lose my center of balance, and kind of just get, looks more wobbly than it really was, uh, but 102, where I powered the first one, and then on the second one, I was just a little bit early, and uh, just wasn't fast enough to get under there, so I repeated the weight, and went a lot better. I think it was just for me trying harder. And I was able to power them both. The second one kind of drifted back a little bit and then went up a smaller jump, which is something I want to get better at doing as well. It's taking more smaller jumps, more five kilo jumps instead of 10 kilos. Uh, but 105, uh, my best power off the blocks and just in general is 115, so 253. Um, so I was really happy that I was able to get um, up to 110 and to do this complex at it. I powered that first one. I was really hoping to be able to get this to be a power as well, but it ended up being a really good rep as far as like how it felt when I caught it. It just pushed me all the way down, which, you know, it is what it is. I randomly decided to do a couple of overhead squats as well, which kind of just confirms what I kind of assumed in general is that my static strength is mostly fine for all the lifts that I need to do. It's a lot more of my speed and explosiveness that is quite lacking. Doing um, power cleans for the blocks are absolutely horrendous and one of the most difficult things to do. Um, cleans for the blocks I've gotten a little bit better at. I used to have that kind of same, almost not really fear, but like just apprehension to go under it because it's just, you know, it feels like there's no momentum to go with it. But um, did some overhead press to start out with. This was a nice little progression. So I went from that 70 kilos up to this is 84, so 185. And then I actually pressed this the other week. Um, and I got pretty close, but didn't really commit um, my full energy to it, I suppose. But then just did a push press there, and then uh, progressed up to 245 to do another push press. And actually caught that as a power, which is actually pretty good for the blocks. Uh, the next one will look kind of stanky uh, as far as the clean goes. Now for myself on this one, I it's like a, technically a pow, and it looks really deep. Because I do have a lot of depth from which I can squat. Uh, but I didn't go all the way down quite. <laughs> Obviously, it wouldn't be like, oh, I PR'd my, my power clean from the blocks. But um, I think that's 120 is the most I have powered. I have done it. I've caught it higher than that before. It's very difficult. My best power clean from the floor is like 320, so 147. Uh, from the blocks, it's obnoxiously difficult. Um, and that was my first attempt at 130, which is this will be a PR right here of about three kilos. My previous best was uh, two to uh, 79 and not a, not a very pretty rep, but you know, I kind of manned up and did it, which is really good. Um, so I was happy with that. And then went up to this uh, 143 to try to do a power jerk. I think I was pretty confident in this way to where I, if I would have tried to do a split, I would have been fine. Um, but I wanted to see if I could hit a power jerk. That would have been really massive because I believe that would have been, yeah, that would have been a like a seven pound PR on the, on the power jerk specifically. Um, but then did some volume in the squats. I decided to do all pauses um, today just to make it as difficult as possible without really having to be um, going heavy. But these are just 70 kilos and I put the blocks away so I just repeated 70 kilos because that's what I did between the sets. Just really trying to feel the motion out to really make sure that I'm balanced and going straight down and straight up. I'm not lean, you're, um, like hip shifting or anything like that, or at least, you know, attempting not to. Um, and then made this, I don't know why I do this sometimes, but I was planning on doing a triple and then potentially going up in weight, but I decided I didn't really want to go up in weight and to just to do a set of 10, which for pauses is really difficult. And obviously these aren't extremely long pauses, but doing a set of 10, even if these were just normal unpaused reps, would have been not really difficult, more so the cardio. But um, I was definitely having to work hard to um, breathe strategically because of the fact that obviously you can't hold your breath for this long when you are under this much tension, even though it's only you know, 265 pounds. 
you do have to kind of brace yourself so you don't fold over even though it's a pretty light weight um, but just getting those reps in and doing a little bit of a different kind of hypertrophy so really just trying to control the reps and feel my feel my body and where it should be in different positions um, so hopefully it has some good carryover and I will say I actually feel pretty good physically today um, particularly in like my knees and I haven't really been like a, a huge issue with my training um, but it you know tends to be something that's I think it's more so like my quads get tired and tight um, because it's not really like joint issues necessarily um, then did some I guess these are like Romanian deadlifts but did the same weight dropped it down and did a set of 10 here and really got a good pump in my lower back I was hoping to get a little stretch on my hamstrings I was really trying to keep my you know really trying to keep my legs straight to put as much strain into the hamstrings and I don't really feel it sitting here now but you know it is what it is with that I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do for my session today but uh, I was really happy with that it's a productive day where I don't necessarily go to maximum and get some good volume in uh, one last note before I end this video here I am gonna be adding in a lot of rear delt flies I added those in the day before this workout and they got quite sore in my my upper back and in between my scapulas and my scapulas themselves and so I think that would be a really important thing just in general to really help my speed under the bar and, and just kind of continue to develop muscles that are uh, lacking which is always just kind of whack-a-mole because as things get stronger then other things need to be brought up as well but um, that's gonna be the end of this video hopefully you enjoyed and uh, yeah you have a great day peace